What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, it's been over, what, 30 years of my life? And there's a phrase, there's a word that I'm tired of hearing, and that's global warming or climate change, or whatever y'all call it now these days. Ugh, I am so tired of hearing that the sky is falling and we need to do something about it. Here we have a man who identifies as a woman, who is in military uniform, who is head of health and services of the United States of America, who was appointed by Mr. Biden here. This guy here is going to tell us about climate change and black people. Let's go. Hello, I'm Admiral Rachel Levine. This Black History Month, I'm pleased to partner with OMH in advancing better health through better understanding for black communities. Climate change is having a disproportionate effect on the physical and mental health of black communities. Black Americans are more likely than white Americans to live in areas and housing that increase their susceptibility to climate-related health issues. And 65% of black Americans report feeling anxious about climate change's impact. Through our Office of Climate Change and Health Equity and the Office of Environmental Justice, we're working with providers and community leaders to identify innovative approaches that empower communities to address the health consequences linked to climate change. That's one ugly person right there. Jesus Christ. Now that's a she, he, it. She, he, it. She, it. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Ooh, my goodness. So now we have the president of the World Health Organization, WHO, this Ethiopian here. I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try it. He wants us to move away from eating meat. He says that the, the meat farts and that causes global warming. Let's go. Our food systems are harming the health of people and planet. Food systems contribute to over 30% of greenhouse gas emissions and account for almost one-third of the global burden of disease. Transforming food systems is therefore essential by shifting towards healthier, diversified, and more plant-based diets. If food systems delivered healthy diets for all, we could save 8 million lives per year. WHO and our partners launched ICANN, the Initiative on Climate Action and Nutrition. The ICANN baseline report currently shows low integration of climate and nutrition in policies, in funding mechanisms, and particularly in the private sector. I'm therefore very pleased that over 130 countries have signed the COP28 UAE Declaration on Climate and Health. Together, we can protect and promote the health of both people and planet. I thank you. And it wouldn't be a surprise that John Kerry would agree with the WHO. This guy has been beating this global warming thing for the last, what, 20, 30 years? Ugh. Let's go. Agriculture contributes about 33% of all the emissions of the world. Uh, depending a little bit on how you count it, but it's anywhere from 26 to 33. And we can't get to net zero. We don't get this job done unless agriculture 
as front and center as part of the solution. But with a growing population on the planet, we just crossed the threshold of 8 billion fellow citizens around the world. We just crossed that in this last year. Emissions from the food system alone are projected to cause another half a degree of warming by mid-century on the current course that we are today. A two degree future could result in an additional 600 million people not getting enough to eat. And you just can't continue to both warm the planet while also expecting to feed it. Doesn't work. So we have to reduce emissions from the food system to keep the 1.5 degrees alive. Why do we have to keep 1.5 degrees alive? Because scientists, as a basis of physics and mathematics, not ideology and politics or party labels or anything else, as a matter of physics and mathematics and some biology and chemistry have told us, these are the consequences. And we already see it happening. And almost everything they've predicted for 30 plus years now is coming true, but the problem is it's coming true faster and bigger than was in fact predicted. Okay, John Kerry, you like to say, scientists say this. Science also says man and a woman are different. You cannot change your gender, Mr. Richard Levine. Oh, excuse me, Admiral Rachel Levine. But I'm saying it anyway. They've been pushing this global warming for years now, for years. Do you remember Nicole Kidman? Nicole Kidman says she had a superpower and Vanity Fair ran a whole expose about Nicole Kidman's superpower. Let's go. I'm Nicole Kidman and I am going to eat a four course meal of bugs. I am here to reveal my hidden talent, eating micro livestock, corn worms. They're still alive. Mmm, extraordinary. Mmm, very moist, chewy. Can't quite describe the flavor, but <sighs> need a little water. <laughs> Let's try the second glass, shall we? Just a little side note. Two billion people in the world eat bugs, and I'm one of them. Because here we go. Have some mealworms. I'm telling you, I'd win Survivor. That is a um, fruity taste. I'd recommend it. Here we have. Oh, oh. crickets. Oh, nothing. Oh, oh. awesome. Like nothing you've ever tasted. Like a hairy nut. <laughs> Don't. Oh my gosh. A nut from the shell. And now for dessert. Mmm. The fried grasshopper. These are amazing. These are exquisite grasshoppers. I recommend them to anyone. These environmentalists are pushing so hard for us to eat bugs. They want us to move away from meat and get used to eating bugs, folks. All because of global warming. And your dumb ass is going to fall for it. You black folks <laughs> are going to fall for it. Yep, go ahead. Have a grasshopper pie. On oh, Nicole Kidman, y'all. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's my thought for today. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on the notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you environmental wackos, get off my lawn.